In this video, we're gonna talk about a continuous line furler. So you may have one of these on your boat. They're usually for flying one of your head sails, say your Code Zero or your Spinnaker. We're gonna show you how to rig the continuous line furler and how to safely and properly use it. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use our stay sail to demonstrate the use of the continuous line furler. However, the operation is the same for any head sail that you fly. All right, let's dive in. All right, on our continuous line furler, uh, the first step is to attach the tack line. So on this vessel, this is our tack line for our stay sail. However, this is exactly the same setup for your tack line for running a spinnaker or a code zero on a bowsprit. The first step is to undo this shackle on the bottom of the furler. This particular furler, the, cat, the, the shackle pin is captive, so we won't lose the pin. However, this is not, so we wanna make sure we hold on to this bit. I'm gonna take my line, pass it through this shackle. Then I can put my continuous furler back on and tighten the shackle. Okay, so our continuous furler is attached at the tack of the boat. Now we're gonna attach the sail, halyard, and then we'll practice furling and unfurling. All right, on our stay sail here, we have the tack of the sail. I'm gonna undo this pin on the continuous line furler, place that over the, mech the sail, and put the pin back. Pin is in and it's secured. I can try pulling it and see the pin does not come out. So we're attached here. Next step is to take your halyard and attach it to the head of the sail. The pin and the operation is exactly the same as the foot. So I can put it over the sail, push the pin through, and I've made sure that pin is locked. It's not going anywhere. Okay, pin is getting ready on the halyard. We're gonna hoist the sail just as we do any other head sail. Go ahead, Panda. So while hoisting, I'm just gonna make sure the sail stays away from the mast. I don't want it to bang into the mast. So I'm standing here forward on the trampoline, making sure it has a nice clean hoist. Oh. That looks good. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've attached a temporary sheet just to control this sail while we bring it out. Now the main control on a continuous furler is, well, just that. It's a continuous line, so it's a single line with both ends spliced end to end. So that means we can turn this furler either direction and infinite amount of times. There's no end to it. Now to unfurl your head sail, you're going to choose the line in which you need the direction to, to open up the sail. So in other words, your sail is furled one of two ways around its head stay. And with this continuous line furler, we can turn it either way. So in this case, I know for, for this sail, I need to turn the furler clockwise as I'm looking at it. And to turn it clockwise, I'll pull on this side of the furler. As I pull on that line, it wants to turn the furler clockwise and open up the head sail. And in fact, what you saw there, as the head sail catches wind, it, it is just gonna go. And that's part of the benefits of the furler is the sail can come out pretty quickly. Um, and that's not to worry, that's, that's as the furler is designed. Now to furl, it's gonna be the exact opposite. So I know I'm gonna to wanna to turn this furler counterclockwise. So I'm gonna pull on this left line that's in my hand. Okay, so as I pull, we can see the furler's turning counterclockwise and the sail is furling in. There we go. A continuous line furler, some of them have a ratcheting function and this one does for the purpose, if you have a very large head sail and you need a break when you're pulling the head sail in, every revolution, it goes past a ratchet such that you can stop and rest and the sail won't unfurl and you won't lose all of your progress. If you're trying to unfurl it in one direction, you do have to check that that ratchet is switched to the correct way. And I'll demonstrate that now. 
If I'm trying to turn it counterclockwise, we can see this ratchet mechanism stops right here on this bolt. However, I can let go, and in that case, it's a spring-loaded mechanism, and it flipped for me. So now I can turn this furler counterclockwise. However, if I try to go clockwise now, it's hitting the ratchet. Sometimes the ratchet will pop automatically to switch sides, but if it doesn't, you can take a sailor's knife or any other tool and just flip it over to the other side. There we go. And now I can turn it the other direction. Now this won't matter on some head sails. For instance, your spinnaker or code zero, if it doesn't have a UV stripe, you can furl it any which way. So you're really just gonna choose one direction and always go in that direction, and that's totally fine. Uh, in the case of this head sail or a code zero with a UV stripe, uh, you do have to be conscious the direction you wrap it up, especially if you wanna leave it up. Now in that operation, you saw me work the furler by hand. For most of our head sails, by hand is just fine. And in fact, even for a large spinnaker, if you want a good workout, sitting on the trampoline and pulling it by hand feels really good. <laughs> if you're feeling a little bit tired though, you can use the electric winch, if you have one, mounted on the coach roof. So these lines, we can route to that electric winch. The line that you'd like to power, or in other words, the direction you want the drum to turn, we can just put that around the winch and hit the electric button. All right, we can take these lines and come back to the winch. Again, I'm gonna choose the direction that I want to turn the furler and put that on the winch. So in this case, if I want to power up this line, I can do my couple wraps around the winch through the self tailor. And now as I power the winch, it will power the furler. Just be mindful that the, the, the loose line, the slack line, uh, it's gonna need to come back to your furling mechanism. So just make sure it's able to run free and it doesn't impede on the progress of furling. So that's it for the continuous furler operation. Um, they're a wonderful tool. They're really versatile. On this boat, we can fly them with several head sails. And the operation is very straightforward. 